today's lesson, we are going to learn and we are going to answer this question. If his name was Yeshua, why do we call him Jesus? If his name was Yeshua, why do we call him Jesus? Now, some people claim that our Lord should not be referred to as Jesus. Instead, we should only use the name Yeshua. And uh, some of them even go as far as to say that calling him Jesus is blasphemous. Others go into great detail about how the name Jesus is unbiblical because the letter J is a modern invention and there was no letter J in Greek or in Hebrew. And uh, we know that Yeshua is a Hebrew name and uh, its English spelling is Joshua. I don't know how to explain this. Eos. <laughs> All right. And uh, that is his Greek transliteration of the Hebrew name. And uh, its English spelling is Jesus. Thus, the name Joshua and Jesus are essentially the same. Both are English pronunciations of the Hebrew and uh, Greek names for our Lord. And uh, if we give an example of how the two names are interchangeable, we can look in the book of Acts, chapter 7, verse 45. Which says, uh, it says, which also our fathers that came after brought in with Jesus into the possess possession of the Gentiles, whom God drove out before the faces of our fathers unto the days of David. And uh, it continues and says, uh, let me just. After receiving the tabernacle, our ancestors under Joshua brought it with them when they took the land from the nation. Nations God drove out before them. It remained in the land until the time of David. You see, the name Joshua is mentioned. Our ancestors under Joshua brought it with them. Seeing the point there? Getting the point? And also we see in the book of Hebrews 4.8, where the Bible says, For if Jesus had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken another day? So, <laughs> in both cases, the word Jesus refers to the Old Testament character of Joshua. And changing the language of a word does not affect the meaning of the word. We call a bound and a covered set of pages a book. In German, it becomes a butch. In Spanish, it's a libro. In French, livre. The language changes, but the object itself does not. And uh, as this great uh, author Shakespeare once said, he said, and, and I quote, that which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Romeo and Juliet, um, one... I think it's one or two, something like that. In the same way, we can refer to Jesus as as a Yeshua or Yahshu without changing his nature. In any language, his name means the Lord is salvation. And uh, as for the controversy over the letter J, it is much ado about nothing. It's true that the languages in which the Bible was written, there was no letter J. But that doesn't mean that the Bible never refers to Jerusalem and it doesn't mean that we cannot use the spelling Jesus. If a person speaks and reads English, it's acceptable for him to spell things in an English fashion. Spellings can change even within a language. Americans write Savior while the British write Savior with, the, with an U at the, between O and R. And the addition of you, it's a subtraction depending on your point of view. It has nothing to do with whom we are talking about. Because Jesus is the Savior and is the Savior. You know, whether you call it Savior or Savio, like the British try to call it. And Jesus and Yeshua and Yeus are referring to the same person. 
the Bible nowhere commands us to speak or write his name in Hebrew or Greek. It's never even hints us such an idea. And rather, when the message of the gospel was being proclaimed on the day of Pentecost, the apostles spoke in the languages of the Parth Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, and residents of Mesopotamia, and Judea, and Kapasod Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Phygia, Pamphylia, Egypt, and parts of Libya near Cyrene. Just go and read uh, Acts 2, 9 to 10. You will, you will see all the languages that they spoke. And in the power of the Holy Spirit, Jesus was made known to every language group in a way that they could readily understand. Spelling did not matter. So, what's the bottom of this? What I can say is that we refer to him as Jesus because as English-speaking people, we know of him through English translations of the Greek New Testament. Scripture does not value one language over another. And it gives no indication that we must resort to Hebrew when addressing the Lord. The command is to call on the name of the Lord with all the promise that we shall be saved. Acts 2.21 and Joel 2.32 It's all about calling upon the name of the Lord. Call him with whichever name that you have to call him with. We're not Islam, we're not Muslims who try to call. You can only pray in Hebrew. Uh, is it uh, in Arabic and things like that? No. We are Christians. As a matter of fact, we are Christians. You, you can pray in whichever language that you want. You can say whatever. Because uh, God listens to any language. is not uh, confined to one language. You, you can call him in your mother tongue. Here in Africa, we call him Yesu. Other places they call them, they call him in all names. As long as you know you're calling Jesus, you're not calling Satan. <laughs> because whether we call him in English, Korean, Hindi, Swahili, Hebrew, the result is the same. The Lord is our salvation. Hope this has been another good lesson and you've been able to hear something. And you've come to the knowledge of the truth. God bless you and have a brilliant time.